Hey, George here. Random Wikipedia, Lobopodia, Lobopodia. The Lobopodians, members of the informal group Lobopodia, from the Greek, meaning blunt feet, or the formerly erected phylum Lobopoda Cavalier Smith, are panarthropods with stubby legs called Lobopods, a term which may also be used as a common name of this group as well. Some bear toughened claws, plates or spines, which are commonly preserved as carbonaceous or mineralized microfossils in Cambrian strata. The Dinocaridid genera Pamblerian and Kerygmacella may also be regarded as Lobopodians. Under such definitions, Lobopodia compose of only extinct toxa, and widely accepted as an informal, paraphyletic grade in correspond to the crown group of three extant panarthropod phyla, Onychophora, velvet worms, Tardigrada, water bears, and arthropoda, arthropods. Lobopodia sometimes also included pentostomida, but revealed by subsequent phylogenomic and anatomical studies as a highly specialized taxon of crustacean arthropods. The broadest definition proposes the monophyletic superphylum Lobopodia is equivalent to panarthropoda. However, further discoveries showed that this reconstruction had placed the animal upside down, interpreting the stilts as dorsal spines made it clear that the fleshy dorsal protuberances were actually elongated lobopods. More recent reconstruction even exchanged the front and rear ends of the animal, revealed a bulbous imprint previously thought to be a head was actually gut contents being expelled from its anus. Microdictian is another charismatic as well as the speciose genus of lobopodians resembling hallucigenia, but instead of spines, it bore pairs of net-like plates which often found disarticulated and known as an example of small shelly fossils, SSF. Xenusian has the oldest fossil record amongst described lobopodians which may trace back to Cambrian stage, with the exception of Antenocanthopodia, which have two pairs of head appendages instead of one or conical proboscis that may have been compound in nature. Trunk and lobopods. The trunk is elongated and composed of numerous body segments, Samites, each bore a pair of legs technically called lobopods tips. The claws, if present, are hardened structures with a shape resembling a hook or gently curved spine, is considered to be a misinterpretation, and sometimes preserved in the fossil record in three dimensions. In some specimens the gut is found to be filled with sediment. The gut consists of a central tube occupying the full length of the lobopodian's trunk. Categories Based on external morphology, Lobopodians may fall under different categories minus for example the general worm-like toxa Xenusid, or Xenusian, Xenusid with sclerite as armored Lobopodians, and toxa with both robust frontal appendages and lateral flaps as gilled Lobopodians. Some of them were originally defined under a taxonomic sense, e.g. class Xenusia, but neither any of them are generally accepted as monophyletic in further studies, although the presence of Lobopods in this genus is not definitively proven. Arnidans, a genus known only from a pambularian like mouth apparatus, may also be a gilled lobopodian. However, they are widely accepted as stem group arthropods just basal to radiodonts, geonchanopodians by some literatures. They are generally large, body length ranging between lobopods with curved termial claws may have given some lobopodians the ability to climb on substances. Distribution During the Cambrian, Lobopodians displayed a substantial degree of biodiversity. One species is known from each of the Ordovician and Silurian periods, with a few more known from the Carboniferous, Mazorn Creek. This represents the paucity of exceptional Lagostatin in post Cambrian deposits. Phylogeny The overall phylogenetic interpretation on Lobopodians changed dramatically beyond decades. Based on their apparently onychophoran like morphology, e.g. annulated cuticle, lobopodus appendage with claws, lobopodians were traditionally thought to be present a group of Paleozoic onychophorans, suggest a similarity between lobopodians and onychophorans represent deeper panarthropod ancestral trait, plesimorphies, instead of onychophoran exclusive characters, synapomorphies, aceous surface ornamentation, if homologous with polyoscolacid sclerites, may represent a deeper link connecting it with cyclon Raelian outgroups. Further re-examination even revealed that the suspected arthropodization on the legs of Dionia was a misinterpretation, although the spine may have hardened, the remaining cuticle of Dionia's legs were soft, not hardened nor sclerized, 
lacking any evidence of pivot joint and arthrodial membrane, suggest the legs are lobopods with only widely spaced annulations. Lobopodian tox of tardigrade stem group isn't clear. Mural Wolishania was suggested to be synonym, taxonomy, synonym of Wolishania by some studies.